Hello, this is Pratik from TechWiser.com, and unlike everyone else in the team, I'm the only guy who uses a Windows laptop. And so, when we decided to make a video on the most essential app for Windows, they clearly had no choice. Well, there is no shortage of apps when it comes to Windows, but finding fresh apps isn't that easy. So, here is a list of must-have essential apps for Windows, and spoilers: all of them are free. The first app we have here is Friends. Cool name, by the way. What it lets you do is group a range of messaging apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, Slack, Gmail into one single screen. So instead of opening five applications, I just have to open one with all my apps inside it. What I really like about the app, apart from that it's free, is that the interface of the services running inside it remains the same. and you have to spend zero time to understand because the ui is exactly the same and if you are wondering no it doesn't see anything you send or receive the caveat though is france will nudge you to upgrade to premium version by making you wait a few seconds from time to time of course you can remove this delay with a 4 euro subscription writing at techwiser.com means that i have to test a lot of apps and i just lose track of the names The Windows search doesn't help either, which is why I use an app called Vox. Consider Vox as spotlight alternative for Windows. That is an app launcher to help you quickly find files and folders. I can go ahead and search apps, Google queries, perform calculations, open URLs, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Vox can't do that, but maybe you should. Hitting an alt space triggers the app from any screen. There are tons of possibilities with this app, but my favorite thing about Vox is the third-party plugin support. So you can do everything from searching YouTube to translating languages right from your launcher. My favorite one is a plugin called Everything, and the file search is so smooth that nothing comes close to that. You will get instantaneous results as you type. I believe Microsoft should offer everything natively as well. The next one is Sound Switch. Sound switch lets you switch between bluetooth devices just by using a hotkey. Suppose you have your bluetooth speaker and headphone both connected to your computer. Now you want to switch the audio output from the headphone to the speaker. It takes several steps to do that in windows. With sound switch, all I have to do is press control alt and f11 and you can effortlessly switch between the audio devices. We all go through those times installing a fishy app and then later regretting it. Mostly the solution is to uninstall the app or at times even format your system. One easy way to fix that is by using a small utility called Sandboxy. Consider it like a virtual machine but barely eats any system resources. It creates a virtual environment for you to run apps within it. Now the app cannot harm any files and will have to use resources granted to Sandboxy only. You can literally run any app inside Sandboxy. It's as simple as right-clicking the app and choosing Run Sandboxed. If the app creates any mess, then you can close Sandboxy any time and you're back to good. The app has few bugs and you will see a pop-up now and then which you can ignore. The free version allows you to run one sandbox environment at a time. In case you want to run two environments simultaneously, you better upgrade. It costs twenty-one dollar annually. Every time I format my computer, I have to install the same set of apps like Chrome, VLC, Photoshop, etc. Now, some of you might be using Ninite for this, where you click the programs you want, it creates one installation file to install all of your selected programs, saves you a lot of time. But Chocolaty here goes one step further than Ninite. It is a package manager where you can not only install apps but also update and even uninstall them. For example, after Windows install, if I want to install Chrome, Skype and VLC etc, I'll install Chocolaty and go to the command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. Then type in choco install google chrome and hit enter. Similarly, choco install vlc on another command prompt and so on. 
chocolate is free do try it out talking about multitasking i forget my password account number all the useful stuff so noting down things is a habit i have developed with time you have the inbuilt sticky notes for that in windows but really it has its own problem and i mean a lot of problems i switched to simple sticky notes the best thing is the hotkeys i can quickly hide them show them pin a sticky delete recover like i'm so used to this stuff i want one in my phone as well Ever wondered what are you going to do with two shift keys, two control keys and the caps lock button? Pretty useless. So here is an app called Sharp Keys which lets you remap these keys to a different action. For instance, I have mapped my caps lock key to open the calculator and pressing the right alt key will open my computer. This can also be achieved manually by editing the registry key entries but too much manual efforts, you know. Talking about manual effort, editing or converting a PDF is a task in itself. Adobe PDF Reader is free to use, but it lets you only read the PDFs. One workaround is to use PDF Escape, a free online PDF editor, which is good, but it requires an internet connection. A better alternative I'm using is Sesta PDF Desktop. It lets you edit PDFs, convert them to a Word file, Excel sheet, and the list of features goes on. you can add text and forms in the existing pdfs well yes the app is free and no you don't get any watermark but the limit for the free variant is 3 pdfs a day with 200 pages each another android emulator boring wait hear me out nox not only lets you run android apps on pc like blue stacks but gives you root access as well You don't have to go through the tedious process of rooting ADB console super SU it's just there one click and you can use all the root applications overall you get a totally different experience to playing a game with the help of a mouse and a huge screen and root feature is just an added bonus it lets you create multiple instances of the emulator and it really helps me out as i don't have to switch to a rooted app to test the applications The only problem is Nox runs on Android 4. Dolly Pop. Oh, you should really try this one. If you didn't already know, Plex is a media server app. Simply speaking, it lets you serve your music and movies to multiple devices. All you have to do is choose a device to be the server, which obviously should be a computer as the device needs to be connected to the internet and powered on all the time. Now, from this computer, you can host movies, films, photos, and this will be available on all of your devices but what i really use it for is to watch my favorite shows and movies on fire stick using the plex app plex supports every device that you can imagine the only caveat is that your computer needs to be connected to the internet all the time you can remove this restriction by getting plex premium prices start at 5 dollar per month and on that note i am out with the guys to catch a movie till then Let me know which of the apps you're using from this list and if I have missed out any of your favorites. Also watch out for our upcoming videos on essential apps for Android, Mac and iOS. Till then, this is Pratik. See you soon.